Hey everyone, Fred Lam here from iPro Academy, and in today's video training, I want to ask you a question. Is your website optimized for all devices? This is the number one question that needs to be in your programmer's face when they're creating your website or creating your landing page. Because now we are in a century that does not just solely rely on desktop and laptops. We now have smartphones, we now have tablets, and majority of people nowadays are simply using a mobile device or a tablet to get access into the internet, to buy products, to go through sales funnel, and to simply give their credit card information to you. Now, your job as an online entrepreneur is you need to make sure that you are up to date and your website is fully optimized. Now, be frank with me. If I ask you this question right now, is your website optimized for all devices? What is your answer? I can virtually guarantee you 70% of the people that's watching right now can say they don't even know what website optimized means and their website is not even mobile optimized. Now, I'm actually gonna share with you all the details that you need to know and what you need to be aware of. In fact, I'm actually gonna give you a free tool to actually help you to make sure your website is optimized for all devices. So, let me. a lot of people ask, why should my website be optimized? Well, right now, again, the global trend of mobile and tablets is rising exponentially. Desktop is taking a big hit. In fact, Google themselves actually got a big hit with their banner ads on AdWords. So originally, AdWords, basically, they own a vast majority of all the internet, over 95% of their placements on mobile, sorry, on desktop, is through AdWords. But in quarter three of 2014, there was a big change. Mobile and tablet traffic starts to skyrocket and desktop exponentially drops. And right now, even on Facebook, there are more users going onto Facebook with a mobile device than on a desktop. So for you, it's very important that you actually change and you personally, you and your business, should actually evolve and make sure you're riding the global trend of mobile and tablets. In fact, right now, there's gonna be in 2017, according to a study by Statista, there's gonna be five billion smartphones in the world. That's a lot, that's almost every single human being will have a mobile device. But desktop is going to be far less than mobile. So you need to make sure that your website is optimized to actually show on a mobile device. Now, secondly, people are five times more likely to leave a mobile site that isn't mobile friendly. So if your website is not optimized for mobile and people have a, have a lot of trouble looking at your website or going through your website on a smartphone, five times more likely that they're gonna leave. That means that you're leaving a lot of money on the table in terms of leads, sales, or even webinar registrations. So it's very important for you to make sure that you have a mobile-friendly website. Now, secondly, it also hurts your loading speed. On the internet right now, because there are so many stuff that actually attracts the audience, they basically have split seconds or very little time to make a decision if they're gonna stay on your website or not. and on average, you really only have three seconds to capture the audience. So if your website is not optimized to load fast and to load quickly, you will lose a lot of people and those people will not even attempt to go through your sales funnel. So at the end of the day, it's gonna hurt your bottom line. Now, last but not least, nine out of 10 people that use a laptop or desktop actually have multiple windows. And these users expect an instant load. So they expect that they will actually, when they click on your website, they expect it to load right away. And if it doesn't, again, they're gonna leave your website. So if you don't have your website optimized, at the end of the day, you are leaving a lot of money on the table because people are just simply leaving your website for various reasons. Now, you might be wondering, well, Fred, 
I heard about mobile responsive. I heard about that my website needs to be optimized for all devices, but how do I score my website? How do I know if my website is exactly the way it should be so I'm not losing my sales? Well, over the last week, I have been working with a team of Google AdWords specialists, a team of them, not just one, Google now has a dedicated team of four people that actually look at my account and to tell me what is the latest and the greatest inside Google so big advertisers like me can really take advantage of their discovery, take advantage of their tools to really see and tell me exactly what I have to do in to increase my sales and then to increase my ad budget. So in a conference call that I had with them, they shared with me a tool that really blew me away. And in fact, I'm gonna give you access to this tool for free. It's called Think With Google. Simply just go to testmysite.thinkwithgoogle.com and you can actually put in your URL and you will actually have Google giving you a score on your website. And in fact, Google is gonna tell you exactly what you need to do to actually score a higher score. So I'm actually gonna do a quick demo right now. I'm just gonna go to my browser and I am at testmysite.thinkwithgoogle.com. So here you're basically testing your website to make sure and find out how well your site works across mobile and desktop devices. So in my case, I'm actually gonna use one of my landing page and see what it comes out. So once you put in your landing page URL, just click test now. So now what Google will do is Google will start looking at your codes, they will visit your website with a web crawler, and then they're gonna give you a score. And that score is gonna be very, very important. So right now, my score came out. So this is my report card. Mobile friendliness, 97 out of 100, so it's good. Mobile speed is fair, 74 out of 100, and desktop speed is actually not as great as I wanted to, 66 out of 100. Now your goal is to try to get all green, but if you are in the yellow, that's still fine, but I still highly recommend you at least the mobile friendliness be at least in the high 90s. That way you can ensure that you are not losing out on your mobile sales and your mobile leads. Now with this, you can actually get a free report and get Google to send you this report and tell you exactly what you need to do to actually fix your score and to improve your website. Now, you're gonna take at least 24 hours before Google can send you the report, but what you can also see is that right on every single section, if you scroll down the website, you can see view the details, and it will tell you exactly what you should consider fixing and what you should fix. So for me, I would just have to fix the size tab targets appropriately. So really, I just have to make my stuff a little bit bigger so it's easier for the thumb. Other stuff, I'm all past. Now, when I look at my speed for mobile and I click see what I need to fix, it will tell me exactly what I need to do. So I gotta eliminate render blocking JavaScript and CSS in the above the fold content. I shall leverage browser caching, reduce server response time, minify CSS, and minify JavaScript. Now you might be wondering, well, holy crap, Fred, what are all these? Well, don't worry, because if you get the free report straight from Google, Google will actually lead you to an article on specifics on how you can fix these stuff. Now you can also look at your desktop traffic to see your desktop speed and exactly it'll tell you what you need to fix. So for me, I have to fix my images because it's not optimized. It's actually too high of a file size and I should really reduce it. Now, Again, this may look very, very complicated for you, especially if you have no knowledge on what CSS is, JavaScript is, et cetera, et cetera. But you still need to make sure that you get this report so you understand what you need to change. And then if you hire an outsourcer or if you have an internal programmer, make sure you share these data with them and tell them to follow these and make sure that your website scores a very high score for your cross uh, browser um, optimization. Now, how to fix all these? It's gonna be another question that's gonna come up for you right now. So there are two places for you to find talents to do these. I don't expect you guys to know these. I personally, myself, some of them, I can't even solve it myself. So I either, basically, I have a team 
um, in-house that actually handles all these for me. But if you guys are starting new, you guys don't have an internal programmer, what you want to do is look at these two places to find talents to help you fix all these. All you have to do is just simply send them the report and tell them what to fix. The first place is Fiverr. Only costs you five bucks, maybe max 30 bucks. Okay, if you want like a super great professional work done. And you can simply just find someone and that is in programming, but before you hire them, message them first and making sure they know what Think with Google is, send them a report and ask them if they can fix it. If they can, then you put in your order because some of these people may not even know what Think with Google is. Now the second is using Upworks.com. It's a little more expensive than Fiverr, but in Upworks, there are a lot more talented and professional programmers that are more seniors. They know what they're doing, and if you send them the report, they should be able to fix all these for you. Now, obviously, if you start to outsource and do your entire website, do everything, it will cost you some money. So what I would actually suggest you to do is only fix your landing page first, okay? When you're starting to scale your business, then you want to actually take your full website to actually make it mobile optimized or uh, tablet optimized and web and desktop optimized. But for now, I would encourage you to just focus on your landing page first because that's very, very, very important. In fact, Google was sharing stories with me saying how people fix all their stuff on their website to be mo uh, to be optimized and their sales got increased overnight by simply fixing all these. So for me, for you, um, I actually have a lot of work to do too because some of my pages um, doesn't really score very high scores. So my team this week is solely focusing on fixing all these. So my uh, all my landing page, all my sites are going to be 100% um, optimized. So for you, I would seriously consider spend a week this week and really look at your landing page and see if you can fix all these stuff because it's really proven to increase conversions on your website and um, it's also great for you to understand what is going on. And in fact, if you go to www.thinkwithgoogle.com, you will see a lot of articles to tell you what is the latest trend, what is the insights that Google themselves sees in the world, in the globe, and for um, advertisers, so you can learn there as well. All right, so that's it for this video training. I hope that this free tool will help you, and I really hope that it's gonna increase your conversions. All right, I'll see you guys in the next video training. Bye now.